Okay, today we're gonna be painting a kitty cat. So, please make sure that Miss Lawson has not forgotten any of your supplies. You have your canvas, which is vertical, on your easel. On your easel, you should also find a piece of chalk. In front of you, you will find your cup of water, your two paint brushes. Make sure you have a large red brush and a small red brush, your paper towels, and your plate, making sure that you have yellow, red, white, white and black, and blue on your plate. So please make sure that you always keep your brushes in the water with the hair down. They always wanna be soaking in the water. If you leave them on your plate covered in paint, they will get crusty. When you remove your brush from the water, you wanna make sure that you don't leave all the drippy water. That's why you have a paper towel. You got to make sure that you dab off all the extra water um, from your brush onto your paper towel. Now, canvases, they do have four sides. Um, they have an edge that you will need to make sure that you rotate and paint, and then also on the bottom. So you've got to make sure that you do turn your canvas. We are gonna start with a blue and white. So you have your blue, make sure it's not black. Um, you're gonna have to pull some white, if it's not next to it, over to your blue, and then you're gonna mix it up. You don't wanna use the darkest blue, we are gonna use a lighter version of the blue. So, once you get that mixed up, we are gonna make stripes going left to right across your canvas, not top to bottom, but left to right. So, you're just gonna start at the top and you're gonna use your brush to make the stripes. So now you will have to turn to the side. You've got to look where your stripe is. So if my stripe's here, I'm just painting the edge. Where my And then I am gonna paint the bottom just because that last stripe that I did goes to the bottom. If your last stripe is not all the way to the bottom, then you need to look at yours and figure out where you are painting. So. Once we've got our stripes, take your brush, you're gonna put it in your water, let it soak, you're gonna walk it back so we can blow dry it before we um, add our cat on top. Okay, um, we're using gray chalk, not white, because I realize white's not gonna show up on our stripes. So, we are gonna draw our cat. Now, we are gonna draw the cat's head and the ears and then the body and then the legs coming out the side. So, we are gonna start with the head first. Now, this is chalk, it will still kinda make a mess because it's gray, it's not white. And we should have blow dried it well enough. I kind of rubbed my canvas and it made a little mess. But if you need to wipe the chalk off, please let me know. I have a little trick that will help clean it up some, but it will kind of get messy. So you want to kind of go near the top part of it. You don't want to do, um, we're going to do a round head. And then the corners. Now the ears are kind of to a point. And then the inside of the ear. Okay, so the body is gonna be coming down. I kinda wanna make it fat, but I wanna leave room for legs on the side. Now I have to bring it up a little bit. Now the legs, once I've got the body, I'm gonna come to the middle. I'm gonna do a U and then a straight line to separate the two feet. And then the little foot's gonna be three humps. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that is how we did the body. And the leg is gonna come out. It's like a big, I don't know what shape that is. And then two humps, one, two. Same thing. One, two. So we're just drawing the outline, the shape of your um, cat, and then we'll fill in the details after we blow dry it. So once we draw it, we are gonna use our paint. You're gonna use your big red brush. Now you just used blue paint on it, so you gotta get it real clean. So make sure that you are bouncing it off the bottom of your cup, dabbing it on the paper towel. Now I have added white and black 
to your palette. You will have to stir it up to make a gray. Depending on the shade of gray, do you want it darker or lighter, will depend on how much white or black you pull into it. So I got my shade. So what I'm gonna do, start the head, fill in. I do want to cover the chalk. I do not really wanna leave the chalk. So my goal is to go right up to the chalk and go over it. So I've got the head. Once you've got your whole shape of your cat, please make sure you put that brush in your cup to soak and we're going to blow dry it again. Okay, now we're gonna be adding some of the details. Um, you are gonna be using your small red brush. So it's been in blue water, so make sure you still get it cleaned off and dabbed off. And we're gonna make the collar and the eyes. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, use yellow and we're gonna make the collar right under the head. Cleaned off, as we have to mix some colors and we don't wanna make new colors. So get it all cleaned off of the yellow. And we're gonna take a little more white, a tad of blue. We want a very light shade of blue. These are gonna be the eyes. So coming up, Gonna make a circle. Oops, see, I got too much water. It's about to drip green. If that happens, just dab it with the paper towel. Okay. That's why it's important to dab it off. This off. And we're gonna move to our nose, mouth, and whiskers, all the details with the black paint. So, okay, we're gonna be using a, the small yellow brush. So you're gonna be using that in black paint um, to add our details. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the ears. And draw that shape. I'm gonna go on the inside and the outside. Okay, now, all the head. Okay, inside the head. We're gonna draw a little nose. You could do a heart or a upside down triangle. Under the bottom of the nose, you're gonna curve to the right, curve to the left. Make some eyebrows, and you can add eyelashes if you want. And then inside the eye, and then whiskers. So make sure that you start at the head and add all the details to the head before you move to the rest. So now we're gonna go to the collar outline the collar and then this is where you're gonna kind of have to look at your art and figure out where you put your line so I can kind of see where I've separated the two legs you got to add that back in so that means this one two three one two three
fur lines. So on the lines of the edge, just to make it look like it has hair, I'm just adding a few double lines coming off. It's on the edge of your cat. Not everywhere, just random places. Okay, so once you've got that, now we're gonna go back, I forgot the tail. So before we put everything up, we're gonna add a gray tail coming out. Now you can pick either the left or the right. I'm just gonna pick the side I have more room on. You're using your small red brush, your gray paint. Then we're gonna switch to your um, kind of yellow one. Get your black and then we're gonna trace around it. So once you've done that, then you're ready to finish off with your other black lines and your initials. Again, you're gonna have to add your initials, same brush, same paint. I kind of have to lift my canvas off I don't have much room, but I am I do have room to write my initials. So make sure that you are writing your initials, not your whole name across it. And then you're gonna be listening for cleanup. All your brushes need to go in the cup to soak. Your paper plate and your paper towel are trash. We're gonna blow dry it one more time before we head out the door um, with your piece of art. 